Okay, guys, here's what I get when I type in Calibron Capybara to YouTube. We have AEAC at the SHOT Show, uh, talking to the Capybara girl right there. And then we have my video. And now I say it's a semi-auto, and I need to apologize for that because I am hearing that it could be a hummingbird, the next version of the hummingbird, and the hummingbird is not semi-auto. I must have read somewhere right you know, during SHOT Show that it was a semi-auto, or for some reason I thought it was. But anyway, there's no basically no way to get any information on the Capybara. There's nothing on Google. There's no articles or anything. I basically went to a discussion group on one of the forums, and they showed the Facebook page. And basically, all Caliber Gun did was put a picture of this on their Facebook page. It didn't say anything about it. So I'm not sure where the semi-auto rumor came from. And uh, I just want to apologize if I happen to be wrong. Let me just uh, show you what happened when I called Air Guns of Arizona yesterday, and it is August 27th, 2018. Good morning. Hello. Thank you for calling Air Guns of Arizona, your premier air gun supplier. To speak to our knowledgeable sales staff or to check your order status, please press 1. Please hold while I transfer your call. Thank you for calling. There are five callers ahead of you. Wow. If you'd like to let us wait in line for you and call you back when your turn comes up, press one. Press any other key to wait for the next available agent. Air Guns of Arizona is pleased to offer a full line of fine precision air guns, air pistols, pellets, scopes, and accessories for all your shooting needs. As a major U.S. importer and distributor of adult air guns, we pride ourselves on providing only the highest quality items available. We never rush a call and try to answer every question with every customer. This may cause a delay in answering your call today, but we promise to give each caller the same attention when we pick up. While you're waiting, please feel free to check out our entire selection at www.airgunsofarizona.com. Relax. Because nearly every rifle we ship is tested for condition, functionality, and performance. And is even double boxed in UPS approved packaging. At Air Guns of Arizona, your satisfaction is our number one priority. This is Rich. How may I help you? Hey Rich, uh, I was wondering if you knew when the Caliber Gun Capybara might be in? We have them on order. And we were told originally late summer, but we're going to call it early fall now. We're just, we don't have a date. Okay, we're gotcha. We to arrive. I don't have anything more specific than that. Sounds great. So, like, you think you're going to have a lot of them? Like, would I need to put a couple hundred down, or should I just wait and just we're, call We're back? not even taking pre-orders on them yet. We just, we don't have enough information to do that for I gotcha. you yet. But and then, keep, keep, you know, give us another about, you know, month. Sounds I mean, good. I don't have a ton of calls coming, so you should be fine, but I, don't, I can't even have the way to do a pre-order yet. No problem, no problem. And then the last question is, uh... Like, it is semi-auto, right? Because, like, there's a little confusion. Some people don't think it is, but I know it is. I honestly don't know. I have uh, not seen it or handled it. And <laughs> it sounds supposed... funny, but I'm just trying to keep my hands above water, trying to keep up with the calls and the stuff. That I, I got you. <laughs> well, thanks for, uh, thanks for giving attention to everyone's calls today, and I appreciate it. I don't mind being on not hold. Not a problem, man. Just give us a shout in a couple, you know, probably the first part of, uh, uh, say, towards the end of September. Okay, Give sounds great. Hopefully yeah. we have more information. Hey, I already got or my... If you see something on our website, then call us again. Okay, yeah, I already got my money ready for it, so I'll be calling. Now, all the... Uh, anything that says Capybara, there are some people that have them. This dude's name is Alexis. I wish that someone could translate this video for me. So, if anybody knows Russian or whatever language he's speaking, let me know. This guy's a cool air gun guy, though. He's uh, in another country, and he obviously does air gun videos and stuff because he's got a web page showing this gun as well that's where i got some of the pictures for my first video that's what i'm talking about so you know what i think that pop means semi-auto in russian so i'm just looking for clues you guys i watched this video and and a couple other ones that were in other languages sitting there waiting for them to do something you know to reveal that it was semi-auto this one guy had this and a hummingbird taken apart and went through everything and anyway no one's got air in them they don't put air in these guns at the shot shows so 
And I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can click on here and watch this guy's videos and stuff. But the other thing I thought was funny is, uh, especially at the beginning, look at this dude holding this thing with one hand. He holds it with like half of a hand. So obviously this thing is well balanced and, and lightweight. That's what I'm going to say. Anyway, so he, uh, he says, Anvuski pop pop. And so hopefully this will be semi-auto. We're just going to have to wait and see. Three to four weeks. It'll be here. And uh, when it's here, man, will I still buy it if it's not semi-auto? I'll tell you. If it's twelve hundred bucks, if it's twelve ninety nine, I will buy it. If it's uh, if it's fifteen hundred dollars and and it's uh, it's not semi auto, I don't know if it's gonna make it in my collection, but I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping it's semi auto and it's twelve ninety nine. Uh, but you know I'm prepared to pay fifteen sixteen hundred dollars for it if it's semi auto. So anyway, it's funny because my birthday is uh, is within days of when Arrogance of Arizona said this is coming out. So. Hopefully I'm going to have a really awesome birthday present. Alright guys, if you don't know what a cup of bara is, it's a actually a giant... You just imagine like a giant guinea pig that's about the size of a uh, Rottweiler or something, only a little fatter. And this video right here is called Making Friends with a Capybara. Don't try this at home. Oh yeah, so they're nice. They're probably really nice. I saw an airgun video where this uh, dude in Mexico went and shot one of these guys. I didn't like it at all. And anyway, he shot him with a 25 or something for no reason. And uh, he thought it was cool, but I did not. Caliber Gun always names their guns after <laughs> different animals. And so the hummingbird turned into a capybara. Pretty good trick if they can pull it off. Meanwhile, this guy's, the, the Capybara Whisperer is out there. Okay, so scrolling down for Capybara videos. You see, this is my Avanix Max little uh, five-minute video I made one time. And I must have put Calibre and Capybara for one of the keywords. That's pretty sneaky. But anyway, that's on there. And uh, let's see. But you go down here, and this is really hilarious. So you see, I just showed you a little bit of that guy's YouTube video. And I'm sure he's not going to care. So anyway... It's funny because I clicked on this one. I was like, oh, look at this. This is probably a cool video. Maybe this guy's got something to say about it. I click on it. Watch this. <laughs> that right there is from my video. I actually made this with, uh, I don't know, office something. Oh, paint. Yeah. So I, with paint, I put these words in here. And so he used it in my in his video. Let's see what he has to say here. Okay, now this guy is actually playing my video and he's translated it into another language. Man, that is awesome, brother. Wow, that is so cool. And I didn't even have to pay him for this or nothing. So, hmm. Now, I wonder how he captured it in such clarity. Like, I'm not a computer genius so anyway I guess this guy's name is I'm gonna call him out his name is uh, Tyro Esprovito SBC so check him out if you know what language this is I know that people in different countries watch my videos because it tells me exactly who watches my videos every month when YouTube gives you this crazy analytics thing with more graphs than you could ever imagine so anyway I know that like let's just say 4% of the people are in the Philippines you know, I may get I may get 12% from the UK. I know that I get 15% uh, of my video traffic from on my YouTube channel from Airgun Nation and 50% from Airgun Warrior. So those are the two main forums that I post. If you type in Airgun Classifieds into Google, then you'll see my video right there, and it's the top three Airgun Classifieds that I use all the time. So anyway, we've seen enough of this. So three to four weeks from now, as soon as October 1st comes, hopefully I'll get one of these and and we'll see it in person. If you want to know more about what it might be like, you can watch Matt Gruber right here. And he has a Calibri review. So it's going to be pretty close to maybe the same performance. Ooh, nice. So anyway, I watch this guy all the time. So definitely check him out. Now you can also check out my channel. So right here is the Airgun channel. That's the BB-8 video. I kind of leave it up there for now because it's kind of unique. I'm going to leave it up there until I get to 5,000 subscribers, and then we'll make a, a new video. 
There's also going to be some other neat stuff happening when I reach 5,000. Uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know exactly what yet, but I definitely have to do something. There we go. So now one of the things is that you have to go to videos sometimes if you want to find one of my videos because uh, they get lost, you know, back. They can't show them all to you on the first page. I am going to create some playlists so that when you look right here, it'll say like new guns 2018 and I'll say another one that says like big boars and another one will be like optics so you can real easily you know find the, the best videos but so this is it but the on anybody's channel if you go to videos right here okay now you have every video that they made kind of in chronological order and so you know I've got about 35 right now so I bought my Benjamin Bulldog you just heard me mention that I sold it on eBay I bought it to do a review on but you know I was like about two years late on that one, so the hype was definitely over on the Bulldog, although it is a great gun. So anyway, I put that up two months ago, and you can see it only has 1.4k views. So I, uh, so that's not very good. That's like a totally stinker video. So you see for something like the HW97 right here, that's getting 5,000 views in one month. So, so it's kind of funny, that's why the Bulldog got sold and not like further tested. But the reason I was showing you this is, uh, this is my hat sand flash accuracy testing video. And this was the first video where I got my side shot scope camera. And I kind of integrated the scope camera footage into the video and it came out really nice. Not to toot my own horn, but probably this is the best video I've made so far. And uh, careful what you wish for, because when I make a good video like this, then the next one I have to top it. So it's, it's a lot of pressure, a lot of work for me. But anyway, hopefully, uh, you know, it'll work out. Sometimes I make a video and I think it's going to be really crappy and then it turns out to be really good, so... Anyway, this is another one that um, America's been waiting for. I've been waiting to make anyway because this is a brand new rifle that came out and sold out really fast. And uh, so you could see this one one week ago and it already has 5,000 views in one week. So that's what I go for when I make a video. This right here is my a Adam and AP-16 accuracy testing video. I do something amazing in there, but I do have to warn you. There is a rat involved. The Crawl Armor is a new gun that I reviewed. And this right here is my Nova Freedom review. And this is the second one I did, but this is probably one of my favorite videos because... Boom, this just popped a wheelie right here. Where I live, like, dudes ride wheelies like this every day. Right past you. I used to, I used to be one of those guys, but I don't ride motorcycles anymore. I like being alive. This is why I like this video so much. Yeah. So that song just came on the radio when I was driving to do that video. So it just it was just funny because you really do need to keep smiling. So definitely go to the Air Gun channel, check out the videos, we got a lot of great ones, and hopefully uh, in the future, if there's a gun that you want to buy, you'll be able to go on Air Gun channel, and I'll have a review on it, and you can get an up-close look. The Umarex Hammer, though, uh, that's going to be out pretty soon, I would say in a month or so, we're going to have the Hammer, it's going to be at Pyramid Air. So the way to know what's brand new is you go to Pyramid Air, and you select New Products. Alright, now here is all the new products, now some of these... I'm able to order, but some of them, like, I would like to order one of these, but I'm not going to pay $1,500 for an Air Arms, even though they are totally worth it. But now, I do want to get one of these someday, so every time I see these, I look at them, and I figure out, I try to figure out, you know, what's going to be the best value, the best one for me. So, now, this is more like what I can do. Uh, I'm going to pre-order, I actually, I think I did already, pre-order this $179 PCP Air Pistol. So, if you pre-order something like this from Pyramid Air, now, it actually tells you... It's, um, it gives the in-stock date, which is actually under that 30-day thing right there. So it's going to be in stock pretty soon because it said 9 on there. Now, this one right here, I was super excited because they lowered the price on this from $799 to $749. So I'm just trying to decide what caliber to get my semi-auto Galatian in. So I'm probably, I would prefer 177 personally, but I'm probably going to have to resell this gun to keep things going. So I'm probably going to get a 25 because I think that's going to resell better. And I also think a lot of people are going to want to consider the 25 when they're buying it. So I'm going to go ahead and order one of these any day. Now, this looks like it's going to be in stock 10-something. Oh, and so this right here actually is a... I just saw this on Airgun Gear Show's video about, about 15 minutes ago. 
So this right here is the Sig Sauer. This is actually uh, carved into, this is a wooden stock right here. So apparently, this is a brake barrel, but the trigger is exceptional. It's balanced so well, you can hold it with one hand right in the middle here, and it'll just sit there. Um, and so the balance and the trigger is exceptional on this new brake barrel that's coming out. It has a moderator, and apparently the brake barrel part has a key, they call it, and it goes, this metal piece goes all the way back to here, okay? And so when you put the thing back, it's not just becoming flush with the air chamber like a lot of brake barrels. It's going way inside this other metal piece, and so that's awesome. And it has a moderator right there. And a, a nice wooden stock. Look at that stippling right there. Oh, that is nice. And I did notice that's actually red on the actual guns. And so it looks super cool too. So basically this is made in the same factory as all the Sig Sauer firearms in America. And it's supposed to be really good. So I think I am going to gonna go ahead and spring uh, for, I think, it, let's see, how it's like $400 or something. $429. Uh, ouch. You know, I wish that was $29 cheaper. It would make the sting of buying something I may not keep. Maybe not as bad, but you know what? Yeah, there's no way I'm going to keep a spring gun, but this is going to be awesome, though. So I can't wait to get that. I'm definitely going to get that in 22. There's a Diana Chaser. I have that sitting right next to me. In fact, I'm going to make a video on it in about half an hour here. Now, what's up with this? Why is this one $349? Oh, okay, so that's good news. So, okay, now we're in business here. So I'm going to buy this one for $349, and it's not going to be as beautiful, but it's just going to have synthetic stock. So you can get a synthetic stock. Let's just look at that. Looks like the cheek piece is adjustable too. So that's pretty nice. That's a synthetic. Let's take a look at it. Looks like it's got a Sig Sauer like the other one right there. And adjustable cheek piece. And that grip is pretty neat. It looks like it's got sort of some... Whatever you call that right there. So yeah, once again, that's a SIG ASP-20. Brake barrel, rifle, 349 to 429 You know what? I would probably definitely just pay the extra money and get that Beechwood stock right here. And this right here is something that I really thought I wanted, but now I'm not so sure. Okay, so this comes in a variety of calibers. As soon as you get to a 30 caliber or 357, it's going to go up to 149 Let's just take a look at this. This is basically their M2 in a new ergonomic stock. And I, I like ergonomic things and things that are uh, natural and easy to use. So anyway, that's why I was really interested in this. And I was going to get a 30 caliber. There's a guy at YouTube that does a lot of Adam in videos, okay? And he... said He's a real expert, okay? And he said that the 30 caliber only out of all the five calibers they make from 177 to 22 the 30 caliber only has loose fitting barrels whereas they fit the pellet loosely so when you shoot a pellet down the 30 caliber only i'm saying still and these are regulated okay totally worth the money just in the 30 calibers uh, the pellets were too loose to grab the rifling, so when he looked at the pellet, he saw there were like no striations or whatever you want to call it in there. There was no rifling, and so uh, he was still shooting accurately with it, but he said that's not optimum. So he went ahead, and he had to fit his with a, a Lothar Walther barrel, which he had to get machined and all this other stuff. So that's a possibility if you really want this gun in thirty caliber, but I would say that if you are going to buy this gun, you can get this with a variety of stocks, then you should get a twenty five or get a three five seven. Skip the 30 for now, unless you're going to do that whole Lothar Walther thing. So, Plus, it'll save you a little money, too. I'm probably going to get, like, the 25. Now, the 25 would have a lot of power, and it's only going to be $12.99 as well. So, I'd probably go with that. Or I might want the 357 because that would make a pretty good hunting gun if it was super accurate at 100 yards. Okay, of course, we got the Hatsan Tactical Sortie. Okay, guys, don't buy that. And then uh, the Crow Arms Puncher is in stock now in three different colors. So, that was a pretty cool gun. I got a review on that. See if anything else interests me here. Yeah, so that's about it on new interesting guns. And another place I like to go, and one of the ways that I really built my collection was remanufactured and furbished. Once again, this is Pyramid Air right here. So basically, you're not going to get a super great deal on a gun in this refurbished section, but you will get a few hundred dollars off. 
And so I actually used to find this one kind of gun, uh, actually a semi-auto of Annex, because I had some inf inside information that they were going to stop selling them. And so anyway, I, I bought every single one I could find for a couple years. Anyway, I would go in here and I would find a one that came in. And of course, any gun you get from here is either going to be like brand new looking, definitely an awesome working order. And so I would uh, I would grab them off here and you know save a little money. But yeah, you never know what's going to pop in here. And and you may find uh you know, see this right here is that's $400 off. So you could get up to $400 off or or more on a gun. So check that out too. And so all the websites uh well, Airgun Depot is actually going to have the same sort of thing where they got refurbished and new stuff and uh you can check them out too. jump on there no hey Shane Shane Luke whoever whichever one you are stop hey get off there don't even think about it Waiting for this uh, video to render, I guess you'd call it. Watching a little show about a murder investigation. This one's a bit of a, about a fatal accident. Follow the money. Moyer explained that he'd spilled cherry cough medicine. Yeah, likely excuse. Anyway, this is about some lady who inherited $3.7 million and uh, wasn't long before something bad happened. Let's just say her death was no accident. Okay, let's see how we did. What? Oh no, that's right. Oh my gosh. Awesome shooting. Before the 177 tape is off. Alright, I'm watching the Airgun Gear Show, which is uh, pretty much one of the only main ones that I always watch. I always watch Airgun Gear Show and Steve at, let's see if I can get this right, AEAC, Airgun Exploration Advancement Channel. Anyway, the cats have had a long night. They've been roughhousing. I'm about to head to Starbucks. It's uh, 6, 7 in the morning on Saturday morning. That's when I like to upload my videos so everyone can have a good Saturday. Um, at least, you know, watch a video on Saturday. So I'm just waiting for a couple things to finish on the computer right here. And I'm going to go ahead and head on out to Starbucks. Now, it used to take me a day and a half to upload a video because my internet connection is so slow. When I go to Starbucks, I can upload a 20-minute video in like 45 minutes or, or a half an hour. So it's way, way faster. Anyway, I got it all timed out. I just finished the Hat Sand Flash review. I want to just walk over here. So this is a really cool gun. I just finished this review. And... Got a double whammy review and accuracy testing videos both coming out this weekend. So if you're seeing this, you probably already watched those if you're a subscriber. And if you haven't, please subscribe and I'll show you what I got coming up. These are all guns that I paid for with my own money, ordered and have not opened yet. That's a guitar I got at the dump. But uh, these are all guns. Okay, we got like a $700 ATN night vision 4K scope in there. Let's see what else I got around this place. Oh yeah, that right there is my FX Monsoon. I've been shopping for one of those for two years. Finally got one. That's an airplane that you can fly like 20 miles away if you want with full video. Talk about that later. That's a drone that also goes 10, 20 miles away. Except now that they have the new drone laws, you can't really do that. So that took all the fun out of droning because uh, it's illegal to fly beyond your line of sight. Air tank. I know there's something around here. Oh yeah. See like, I can't even fit all the guns in my teeny little house. That's the crawl, okay, and I'm just waiting for someone to buy that so I can order something else with the money. Okay, we got Hellboy. Probably going to do this today. I got the Diana Chaser pistol and rifle kits, but this is the one that I just got. Brocock Compato, okay, 22 caliber. So um, I got to do this right away because I just really want to check this gun out. And we're going to fix my Yong Hang that uh, Clayton was nice enough to send me the parts to fix this. So 
I just needed the time and I was waiting to actually, you need to run a moisture filter. So I went ahead and got a moisture filter. So we're gonna set that all up. As well, you need to have this adapter. So I finally got that, I'm gonna put this together. And we're gonna finish up that. Sorry, I'll let you guys go in a second here, but uh, I also wanna do a review really bad on this. This is the MH12 flashlight that I got, about 80 bucks. And it's actually 1,000 looms. So this is really good to have on your gun, and then I'll, I'll tell you how to get this little quick release mount that I got off eBay. And if you got one of these, you can actually do some combos on here and make this go on strobe and do all kinds of crazy stuff. The coolest part about it is you just charge it like your cell phone. So you just plug that baby in, and of course it has different power settings and everything. But yeah, this will also light up the night like nobody's business. Almost forgot to mention these. Now, you guys have heard of NSA ammo, right? can't remember what it stands for, but it's not National Security Association. It's NSA Ammo. It's, it's all slugs, and they make, like, the best slugs around, and you can shoot them through your powerful... You have to have a gun that's powerful enough to to uh, shoot, a, shoot a slug, so that the... Anyway, long story, but I got this. is 700 rounds of 25 caliber NSA Ammo. I got this whole thing for I think 60 bucks on the Airgun Classifieds one day. That is actually I think they're about 20 bucks for 100 at least. So what? We'll see what. what so I got 140 dollars worth of 25 caliber NSA ammo right here. Can't wait to burn through that. Speaking of ammo, this gun right here is claimed by the manufacturer to do 1,250 feet per second. So we're gonna do sort of a MythBusters thing, and this right here is 5.4 grain 177 caliber pellet, not 8 grain or 7 grain. And this right here is the same, 5.1 grain. These are actually, these are 18 karat gold plated pellets, okay? If you have to plate your pellets in gold to help against barrel corrosion, I mean, I guess that's pretty sad, but basically, we're gonna do some myth busters where we can see if that, even with PBA, which is like aluminum, aluminum or lightweight alloy, alloy ammo, or even this is just like, these guys are just like plastic with little, tips on them over the chronograph how fast can we get one of these guns to shoot or can we actually even achieve the velocities that the manufacturers claims on these guns so i i only have these in 177 so anyway we're going to do some tests on that too so i want to include chronograph testing but you know to tell you the truth some things are kind of difficult for me and this is a complicated thing and i have to read the instructions and so <laughs> anyway that's why i haven't done it yet but I, I did make this case, so like, I don't like to read instructions, but I do like to, you know, make stuff. So anyway, I made this case, and it's just super awesome. You know, it's got everything, and I have a really cool chronograph here, too. I got this off the Airgun Classified, too. It was brand new. I think I paid, like, 130 or something, so it has a printer and everything and everything you need. I made that case. I made this foam out of the foam that came in my Yong Hang box, so that's cool, and that's my little kit right there from Harbor Freight, so... Anyway, I'll do a review on that too, and as soon as I figure out how to use that thing, then I'll uh, be able to chronograph these guns that are coming through. I hope you're comfortable, Tasha. You're always comfortable, huh? You're probably saying, what's in this funny box? See, there's my Y-Rock HW44 box, but I still have to do accuracy testing video before I sell that. If I sell it, you gotta check this out. She's really interested in air guns. I did open this, uh, I peeked in here because I wasn't sure what it was, I thought it was a different gun. But I did save this so that we could experience this together. Now, I know a lot of the guys in the airgun forums who, some of them might be subscribers. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. Now to give you a hint, this is from Indiana Airguns. And the reason that Dennis over there packed this so good was because... He went through a lot to get this stock for me. This is actually a replacement stock. Sorry guys. You guys know a little something about this because basically I ordered a Red Wolf, Day State Red Wolf, and I got the limited edition Rosso series. And the Rosso series Red Wolf has red as the primary color of the stock. I'll just show you the stock as I'm talking. Instead of gray. And so it has a few other things that make it special. 
but I got number, I believe it was number 119, and when I opened it up, it had actually, the stock had broken right here. All right, guys, uh, I got my limited edition Red Wolf, number 119. Looks like I got a uh, SR19, so I got number 119 of 200 made. I see. Special edition. What are you talking about? And uh, a little disappointed, though, because when I opened it, it was broken in half. So, uh... Basically, but boy, what a beautiful stock. Boy, it just looks like a Ferrari, doesn't it? And I got a carbon fiber shroud right here. But uh, yeah, hopefully they'll be able to uh, hook me up with a new stock right here. So yeah, it was pretty traumatic, and I put a picture of it on the air gun classifieds in. I got a lot of sympathy and uh, a lot of support from those guys. And, uh, and Dennis at Indiana Air Guns went ahead and was on the phone with Day State in the UK every day for like a month and he got them to get me this replacement stock which is pretty hard to get. So it was nobody's fault that the rifle broke. Basically when the giant cases go through the UPS conveyor belts it does it pinches the case in such a way that it does a pressure break and so to remedy that they actually ship these Red Wolves now with the action disassembled from it so that prevents that a little more so basically I'm gonna guard this with my life make sure I don't scratch it or drop it and then my day state red wolf is actually at my parents house so next time I visit my parents I'll be reunited with it and I'll put this stock on it and you guys will see some cool videos definitely I have a 25 caliber high power version thank you to Dennis at Indiana Air Guns for hooking me up with the stock coming through for that and to all you viewers out there Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.